Hey everyone, this is Sharon from Sharon at Sea Travel. In hopes that cruising and travel will be back in the not so distant future, one thing that concerns me a little more than getting on a cruise ship is flying to get to that cruise ship. Some people are lucky and can drive to many cruise ports, but if you're like us here at Sharon at Sea Travel, we have to fly to just about every embarkation port and the closeness of people on a plane is actually more concerning to me than getting on a cruise ship. So I'm feeling pretty good about some of the new requirements the airlines are putting into effect during this time to help keep us safe. Airlines have always had their cleaning policies in the past, although with the COVID-19 pandemic, they have really put stringent cleaning and safety practices in effect to support the health and wellness of their employees and customers. Just to give you a few examples of what many airlines are doing, I have received information from a couple of the airlines that we frequently fly, American Airlines and Southwest Airlines, and I'm going to share with you some of their new procedures for keeping us safe during this time. Let's start with American Airlines. They have put a few new requirements in effect, and my understanding is that flight attendants are now all wearing masks during flights. And Beginning May 11th of 2020, all customers will be required to wear masks as well. American Airlines is asking all customers to bring their own face masks or coverings that they feel comfortable wearing during travel, although they will be providing sanitizing wipes and face masks to customers on select flights. Enhanced cleaning procedures will be in effect to disinfect high-touch points throughout the aircraft, such as tray tables, window coverings, seatbelt buckles, and many other commonly touched areas throughout the plane and increased cleaning at the airports. American Airlines states their customers' and employees' well-being is at the forefront of every decision they make. Now a little on Southwest Airlines and how they're handling all of their upcoming flights. Southwest, with their promise from check-in to deplaning, Southwest recently stated, the safety and well-being of their employees and customers and all of their neighbors, families, and friends in the communities they serve has always been their top priority. Southwest Airlines has also added multiple layers of extensive cleaning and disinfecting. An electrostatic disinfectant and antimicrobial spray are applied to every surface of the aircraft that kills viruses on contact and forms a protective shield for 30 days. Sanicide EX3, a broad spectrum disinfectant, will be used to clean commonly used areas such as onboard restrooms, tray tables, armrests, seatbelts, flight attendant call buttons, and overhead bin handles before every flight beginning mid-May. Since March 4th of 2020, they have also been deep cleaning each plane from nose to tail for nearly six to seven hours every night. Their gate areas, ticket counters, and baggage claim areas are cleaned multiple times a day. Hand sanitizer will be available at the airport in the lobby, at gate podiums, and baggage claim areas, and wipes will be available on board for customers as well. They use HEPA air filters on board the aircrafts, which remove 99.97% of airborne particles, similar to technology found in hospitals. They have aligned these stringent cleaning policies and procedures with guidance from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. They have also implemented new physical distancing practices. They are limiting the number of people on board each flight to provide customers with more personal space, so there will be no need for the middle seat to be occupied currently through June. Families that are traveling together may still sit together. The boarding process is changing. They will be boarding in groups of 10 and only on one side of the boarding poles to help the customers spread out. Plexiglass is being installed at ticketing and gate counters and baggage service offices, which should be completed by early May. Their customer-facing employees are required to wear masks or face coverings. Also starting in early May, they will be posting airport signage and floor markers to encourage physical distancing at gate areas. Now here are a few recommendations that Southwest Airlines is asking of their customers. It is highly encouraged to bring your own hand sanitizer and masks to wear while traveling. Face coverings and masks will be required for customers starting May 11th, 2020. If you forget your mask at home, one will be available for you. They will not be serving snacks or beverages in flight to limit personal contact. So they are recommending that people eat before you travel and maybe pick up a drink 
after going through security to bring on the flight as well. They are also telling people how important it is to not travel if you are sick or if you are experiencing COVID-19 symptoms. During this time, they are not charging a fee to change or cancel a flight, and you can rebook your travel for a later date. Most all airlines have similar policies in effect to keep their passengers and employees healthy during this time. Here are a few recommendations that will apply to just about every airline. Download your mobile boarding pass prior to arrival to limit the amount of exchanges you make with others. Arrive at the port earlier to allow for new check-in and security processes. And maintain physical spacing at the airport and on board. There is also a new allowance by TSA. They are making a medical exception for hand sanitizer and will allow each passenger to pack up to 12 ounces in a carry-on bag, but those passengers will need to be screened separately. As a reminder, for updated information on your flight, go to the airline's website for requirements for that particular airline. Hope you found this video helpful and reassuring as you continue to plan your future travels. Thanks for watching and safe travels.